All right, so jumping right into After Effects, what we have is we already have our footage right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it into a new composition, same size as everything, and then from there we're going to make three adjustment layers on top. So just adjustment layer three, multiply that twice more, and we're gonna duplicate that video file as well. All right, from there you're gonna select the second layer and you're gonna change the opacity to about an 80. So then we're gonna to go to the effects and presets panel, we're gonna type in echo. The echo effect is the main one we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to drop that on top of that second layer we just copied. And then here's where it's gonna get a little more complicated. We're gonna go over to echo operator and then composite in back. Number of echoes, let's just say about not 50. We're gonna do five and decay, let's just do that for 0.5. And if we play through, here's what it looks like. As just that little like blurred effect going on top of there. So. From there, that's where most people will just kind of stop it at. That's where I've seen a lot of people just end it out and that's where it's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the effects panel and type in tint. And from there we have a color correction tint. We're on our first adjustment layer. We're gonna type drop tint onto there and amount of tint, map white to, let's just do a dark gray. So what we're doing now is we're trying to get a fate vignette. So we're gonna come over here, go to the lips tool and let's just make ourselves a vignette. So there we go, nice little oval shape, and we're going to invert that mask. There we go. Open it up just a little bit more, turn on feathering, feather that all the way out, make the, well, with how those corners look, let's go ahead and extend that mask out, just make it a little more better. Just make it a little more better in the corner, specifically this back left corner, just doesn't look as polished as I would like it, and I'm guaranteed it's mostly because the footage mixed along with it. So that gives a nice little corner vignette there. And from there, it gives us a nice little vignetted edge, which I personally think adds to the effect just a little bit more. So we're gonna go back over to the effects and presets panel. We're gonna go find a blur. At this point, you can pick whichever blur you prefer. I prefer the radial blur for this effect. We're gonna drop it on the second adjustment layer and that makes it look bad, honestly. It makes it look all messed up, all fuzzed up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same mask, we're gonna copy it over to our second adjustment layer and you see how much better that actually looks. It has just enough blur to the edges so that kind of just warps the field of view, just warps it just a little bit more to make it look just a little bit more off than it was before. And from there, this is kind of what we're getting. Which I personally think looks pretty good. All right, and after getting that radial blur on, the effect for the most part is done. If you wanna be done with it right here, that's a really good way to just sell this effect and it gives a really good point across for a really quick time. But if you want to do a little bit more, we're going to come over here to the noise effect and we're going to drop that onto our final adjustment layer. Raise that up to about five and turn off color noise. It's just going to be using the colors that are around it to make the noise look a lot better. So it makes it look more film grainish instead of more uh, digital noise. All right, the last thing we're going to add is we're going to add a glow effect onto our final adjustment layer. We're going to bring the glow radius up to about 117-ish somewhere in there. We're going to bring our glow intensity down though to probably about a 0.5. Five. See how that looks? Maybe a little bit lower, 0 0.2. You can change a lot more when it comes down to how it's composited on there, how the glow operators work and everything. And even the glow dimensions, you can do it where it's just horizontal or vertical or whatever, but it's all kind of a taste at that point. Just for the basic effect, that kind of gets it across for me. Personally, the glow is not needed, but I think it adds a nice little artistic flair to it. it. Adds a little bit more drunkenness to it, essentially. Your eyes are dilated, letting more light in. That whole shtick. And with that being said, I do believe that this clip is done so congratulations you just learned the basics of how to get your own drunk effects tweak it to however you want it my way is not the best way do not think that my way is the best way for any way shape or form please take these effects learn them change them do them on your own make your own drunken effects and send them my way i really like to see how they turn out for you guys so with that being said i love you all click that subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out guys